Hi again, my name's Lindy and welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk and my email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. The email is for session inquiries for the album, solar transmissions and also for media inquiries. So that's what the email is for there. So the second of the videos this morning, please excuse my croaky voice. I never record YouTube videos in the morning and the last four I've done in the morning, which means I'm croaky because I'm allergic to mold and my place where I'm living at the moment, which I'm, I was on the path to moving from, but the virus situation has delayed it a bit, um, is full of mold and I'm highly allergic to mold. So where I've been breathing it in all night, I'm really croaky in the morning, which is why I don't do sessions in the morning. Um, or organise much in the morning because I, I lose my voice and I'm always very croaky. Uh, so it wears off by lunchtime, but I wanted to get these done today. So I hope you are doing okay in the times that you're in. If you are in quarantine or under house arrest, as we like to call it, um, I hope you're coping okay with that. And um, love and prayers go to you if it is you that... I have got the virus or one of your friends or family have got it or have passed over from it. Um, so the title of this video today is So I'm pausing a minute because I got two I'm looking to one side. So I'm listening, uh, let's say listening in a channeled sense from my heart. As I'm doing this, and I had two, two titles come to me at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to say a title, but by the time I get to put this up on YouTube, the title will probably have changed. But I'm going to say um, the blue avians, the lion beings, and the feline beings are in, you know, the, or they're in. What do I mean by that? What am I talking about? As I've alluded to many times on this channel before, in any video that I've spoken or about starseed in, and you might find them, uh, starseed and starseed consciousness in the title of those videos on my channel, there is a solar activation that we put up for free on my channel that comes off the album myself and my younger son did, and that's also called starseed activation. Inside you, as your consciousness, part of who you are is part starseed. What on earth do I mean by that? I mean that despite what you've been taught or brainwashed into from the age of zero, you actually have within your consciousness part starseed, which means you're not entirely from Earth. In fact, none of us are entirely from Earth. We all have part star seed within us, which means within us we come from different civilizations or races of, I'm going to say star, star beings, but really I'm talking about extraterrestrials, but it just sounds a much harsher word to say extraterrestrials. So I'm going to say star beings. So that is a component of all of our DNA and all of our consciousness. So sometimes in our DNA or consciousness, we will lean more to one race of these than the other. And it doesn't mean to say that in your consciousness, you can't connect to different races of them. Obviously, the benevolent ones, there are malevolent, highly malevolent races out there. And some of those malevolent races are behind the governments of the world we live in today. They are part of what's triggered the virus and part of what's going on um, all over the world at the moment. Uh, but there are also beautiful, beautiful, benevolent ones that are also here and have been amongst us for ages. And they've been amongst us because really practically we're practically related because we have aspects of that consciousness within us. So because we are at this really pivotal time, not pivotal in a terrible time, although if you're going through 
the quarantine, the house arrest, losing a loved one, being unwell yourself, you probably feel like the world has ended and it really sucks and what the hell is all this about? The bigger picture is it's all about the timeline, the heart quantum timeline we're on, this massive waking up that's going on and the, 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 the attempt to stop that, but the attempt has come too late, but the attempt to try and pull us into another grid of consciousness, a linear grid of consciousness and um, a non-heart timeline. So that's all swimming in the mix. So these beautiful, beautiful, loving, compassionate, highly intelligent, highly evolved um, beings from different races are trying to help us so they've been trying to help us for a long time but now they've stepped forward on mass so if you are a decoder of reality like myself so i decode reality i could say in a way i'm like a multi-dimensional medium in that i interact with different timelines uh different aspects of consciousness etc etc and decode i like to i call it decoding because i get the information in a multiple of ways, multitude of ways, um, you would have noticed if you're someone that works that way, that these races have stepped forward significantly since all this started kicking off. And the, the beautiful ones that are working with us that are actually connected to us in our consciousness have stepped forward because they are trying to help um, thing us move through this. Um, and as I've said before on the previous videos, the process the earth is undergoing has not been derailed or hijacked. Uh, we knew this sort of thing was going to come and there will be other things, but it's all part of the breakdown of the old and the, the tug of war between old and new and what we're going into. It's all part of it. So the races that are stepping forward are numerous, but I'm going to comment only on the ones that I am directly uh, seeing or let's say when I say seeing working with with clients or interacting with when I do my tuning in so for my part um, I highly suspect and I can't tell you how many times this has been validated outside me by people that I haven't spoken to about it um, I highly suspect I'm aligned with what I call the the lion the lion beings um, and that extra terrestrial or starseed civilization. So I'm probably part of that in my, in my DNA and uh, align very much with them. I've also worked with and uh, temporarily, but they're around a lot again at the moment since all this went down, um, the feline, they look very much like cats being beings um, as well, that civilization. And they were particularly around when I was doing the lion beings and the, the, the I think they might be called lions, but I'm not sure, the feline cat looking beings and were particularly around when we put out the Solar Transmissions album, very much they helped with that. Um, but lately, and um, actually only yesterday when I was working with a client who had part of blue avian starseed consciousness in her uh, I work directly with the blue avians and um, that was fascinating because I have seen the blue avians before when I've been working with clients but I actually worked directly with them yesterday which was really extraordinary because most of my input comes through the left ear when I'm uh, working channeling psychically or mediumistically uh, when I'm doing it that way. So let me explain what I mean doing it that way. When I'm working like this, it's all coming straight from the heart. If I was doing a mediumship session with someone, it comes from the heart, but I also hear from here. So I get the information I need from outside, from their spirit that has gone into another realm or their friends and relatives that want to use me as the telephone to translate what they're saying back to the client. So that's more psychic mediumship. This is more heart mediumship. Yeah, you can get the two work together, but it's, it kind of it blends into one when you're coming from the heart anyway, but there are slight subtle differences. 
So when I was working yesterday, um, this particular client, uh, there was part of her energy that was blue avian, which means a tiny percentage of her consciousness was actually started with the blue avian race of star beings or extraterrestrials. So uh, having working with them directly was fascinating because I am not part of them, but they were the very benevolent and trying to help. And uh, I can tell this a mile off, you know, you can read the energy. And uh, it was really amazing because to help the client, we had to travel in our consciousness to a, well, I can't say it was a spacecraft because it wasn't, but it was a, um, a sphere of energy in time and space, the time-space continuum, I'll say where they created an intergenerational field. I don't even know what half of this means, but this is what they did. And we could interact in that space that was like a craft, but it didn't look like a craft. There were no sides on it. It wasn't really solid. And I worked with three of them, and one was really doing all the talking. Now, when I said do the talking, um, these were a quite tall, humanoid-looking race with uh, blue, with large, with a look like a beak, bird face, a beak thing. But when they were communicating, it, I wasn't seeing their beak things moving. I could, I suppose it was telepathically, so I could hear. Well, I say hear, you can hear it, but it's, you know what they're saying. It's hard to explain. If you've experienced it, you'll know what I mean. You know what they're saying. So you kind of hear it, you know what they're saying without them having to speak it. So there was one that was doing the talking and then there was two that were doing talking at once. So it was the most bizarre thing because I heard that through my left ear. And at the same time, the, they started working with pitches of sound. Some of the sound I could hear within my hearing range and that came in through the right. So I could hear what they were working on, on my clients and I could hear the sound. But then the sound changed pitch and I knew the sound was still there, a different pitch. I can't explain how I sensed it. I just can. But I couldn't hear it with my physical ear. Now, that particular sound, because there was so much going on, I was translating to my client what was happening and explaining what they were hap was happening, what they were doing. I have two of them talking in my left ear at the same time not that I'm hearing their voices but you know what they're saying it's like a telepathy really and I have the other one um, the sounds of what they're doing in here and at one point it may actually made me feel not very good because there was too much too much going on like uh, I was getting it from all quarters and the vibration they were using was not exactly comfortable for my energy field so I had to say to them uh, can you can you can you let me step back from that bit because it's too much for me because um, I was almost because I was translating the treatment my client was having it was like I was getting the treatment as well really and there was like a two a, kind of a bit of a clash of energy so they took it off instantly off me which was fantastic and it was an amazing thing it's to be part of what they were doing so what they were actually doing in this particular case is they were in this, I'm going to call it an intergenerational field because that's the words that came to me that they had created. They were taking a client back to the point before her physical symptoms had even kicked in. And I'm not saying like um, a year or two ago, I'm taking right back to embryo conception, um, right back to the point before it even became a pattern or a genetic pattern or an epigenetic pattern, or in the DNA. They, they took it right back, right back, and then they took us to, to uh, you know, one or two key points where she didn't have to relive it. I just saw her at those ages. I was going to say laying on a bench. It wasn't a bench. She was laying, it would have looked like she was laying in midair, but there was a transparent something underneath her. I can't even got the words to say what that was because I don't know. To me, it looked like a transparency. I got the sense there was some kind of, it was made of some kind of crystal thing and, and some other stuff that I don't know what that is. We don't have it on this planet. I don't know. 
But anyway, they took her back to there to really take that coding out that was keeping her in pain and illness now. They took us to the point where that, where, where that started to kick in or she started to inherit it or take it on. So it was a fascinating, absolutely fascinating thing. And um, they came forward very strongly and very lovingly it's like they came forward for one of their own you know it's like oh yeah she's family you know let's do what we can for her and this is what's happening at the moment so if you're someone like for example that um channels light language you might find that you are working with the same race all the time you might be someone else that works with multiple races or you might be someone else that works with a collective which you call a collective name which are a combination of these uh like I say, they've obviously stepped up their game now. These beautiful, beautiful, benevolent, loving, compassionate races that are some of them our brothers and sisters, really. They've obviously stepped up their game because they're, they're supporting us and protecting us against the malevolent star beings that have been here since time began um which they're we're now being extricated from and there's this, this is what's you know there's a little tug of war so they've stepped in to protect they've stepped in to help they've stepped in to um support with that awakening and they've stepped in really as uh i was going to say as a buffer it's not entirely as a buffer because we are having to experience what we've got to experience. That's how we expand our consciousness. We do have to take responsibility for some of our stuff. They're not going to do it for us. No way. They're not here to do it for us. We have to walk our walk. We have to do it. But they're here to support us in that. So it's really interesting. You might be someone that aligns with particular someone's particular material on YouTube that is connected to these races. Or you might be someone that just you have a knowing within yourself that you're connected with one of these races or that might be not on your radar at the moment. But I think it's comforting to know that they are there and they are, you know, part of our consciousness. What I would say, um, this is a word of caution, if you're new to all of this, I wouldn't then suddenly put the call out just to connect with anyone because uh, some of these malevolent races can pretend to be all lovely, love and light and they're nothing like that. And you could end up connecting to something that's of the other grid, the old grid or something very malevolent and it not be what, what you what it seems to be at all. So don't just dive in with both feet. This video has been brought out really to give you the heads up to say that these beings are here these wonderful beings are here too to help us and support us in this in this time and if this comes naturally to you like you listen to some light language or you listen just to someone talking that's had experience with this or you listen to this channel for example or you listen to one of the solar transmissions track um, that we did like the star sea track or one of the other ones and because it was all i'm going to say guided inwardly from these kind of consciousness that is trying to help um you know you will uh, let's say you'll know it's real you'll know it's legit because you will feel healing to your own consciousness you will feel your heart you know your your heart will feel lighter or you'll feel stuff come up and you'll feel that release you know you'll know it's kind of legitimate so for you you know somewhere in your in your journey here you might connect to like another civilization i mean i really don't know the half of what these civilizations are i this because it's an experiential channel i only comment on the ones that i do know of or have worked with. I mean, I've been working with another, um, I'm not going to call them star being, because it doesn't really feel right. I would probably say they were more in the angelic realms, but who knows? I nicknamed them the treacle people. I've been working with the treacle people for over 20 years. So when we're doing a particular form of healing, not all healing, they don't come in for all the healing, uh, but a particular form, sometimes I have a little team of, again, 
between one and three of them, not usually more than that. Um, they're really tiny, as small as children really, um, and I call them treacle because they're transparent gold, so you can see right through them. Beautiful, loving energies, highly evolved star being energies. Um, when I say star being energies, there's an overlap. They feel like star beings, you know, angel, but then in a way, angels are star being energies. They're highly evolved energies, you know, from the realms um that connect with us in that way so there is all this wonderful help there and as you're going for your awakening and um, an expansion of consciousness you may well detect as you're going through that you know a leaning towards um something along those lines as so you're being reminded of the full aspects of your own consciousness um, you may well be reminded of something like that and you'll know because you'll be drawn to particular people's work or particular stuff they're putting out will resonate it will create a oh, aha moment or realization shift in your consciousness etc um so very interesting times to say the least um it's good to know that these guys are in our corner um because of that connection with them and like I say, we're at the beginning, just at the beginning of a lot of change. But we've, we've been waiting for these changes to come for over 25 years. Um, myself, 25 years, um, knowing that day would come. Um, this is just one of those days. And uh, other people that I know of, even longer than that, 30, 32 years, 35 years. So... Um, in one sense, as challenging as it is for many of us, it's good to know we've we've got that point in evolution where we are now tipping over into a significant shift on this planet with this planet. And really that had to happen. It couldn't continue in the toxic way it was continuing with that, you know, darker element hidden behind what was happening. You know, we are in very interesting times. Uh, I'm going to use the word shocking. I used that even before this all kicked in. I said 2020 onward to 2024. Shock, shock, shock. Boom, boom, boom. As the old is revealed for what it is and the new takes over. The new consciousness of the heart the ascended timeline, which is here, which is real, which isn't woo-woo. And this is at the heart of the times we're now living in. On that note, I will love you and leave you. Look after yourselves, take care, do the inner work, address what's coming up, Try not to panic, try not to go into a kind of real intense fear, but deal with what's coming up keep walking it back to balance if you can get in nature get in nature if you can't try and bring nature into you or to connect with nature in another way cds music soundtracks looking at nature on your laptop or your mobile or your tv any way you can connect to nature the great loving balancer at the heart of that quantum heart grid there's a love See you soon. Bye.